uh, to Tbilisi and our correspondent Paula Slea. Morning to you, Paula. Uh, what was achieved then by yesterday's meetings in Moscow? Well, Kevin, as you say, the nine-member PACE delegation met with a range of officials in the Russian capital. This was part of what they're calling their investigation into uncovering the truth of what happened in last month's South Ossetia conflict. What the delegation is likely to propose at the end of this investigation is dialogue between both sides. Georgia and Russia are still deadlocked over interpretation of what the six-point ceasefire plan that brought an end to hostilities actually entails. Konstantin Kostachov who is the head of the State Duma Foreign Affairs Committee, says that he hopes that the report that the delegation issues at the end of this investigation will be fair and impartial. The majority of people in the group are not biased and they are open for facts. At the same time, there are those delegates who have a pro-Georgian position and one of them even signed the notorious resolution to divest the Russian delegation in pace of their authority. The delegation was proposed on the 12th of September, but as the pace rapporteur for Georgia-Russia relations says, dealing with the situation has a much longer history that one needs to look back at. The world history in this uh, part of Europe didn't start on the 7th of uh, August. And as uh, our Russian counterparts were at uh, every occasion saying, that, uh, of course, uh, uh, there was uh, a period behind and uh, a long historical period uh, to see in which way uh, Russia and Georgia have to deal with the situation in the Caucasus. The delegation touched down here in the early hours of this morning in the Georgian capital. They will be here for the next two days and they have a very busy schedule ahead of them with a whole range of meetings. Uh, Paula, what is on the agenda then for the delegates now that have arrived in Tbilisi? Well, Kevin, as I say, they'll be very busy meeting firstly this morning with the head of the Georgia Council of Europe, the president. Following that, they'll then be holding meetings with the ministries of interior, integration, as well as justice. They'll also be meeting with the ombudsman. At around midday, they'll also be meeting with the speaker of parliament. Tomorrow morning, they will be traveling to Skinral. Now, we have no details of who exactly they'll be meeting with there because the Georgia Georgian authorities will not be accompanying them. They are not organizing that part of the trip. But having said that, Russia has criticized the order of this delegation's tour. They feel that they should first have gone to Skinval to actually assess what happened on the ground prior to meeting with all these officials here in Tbilisi who might potentially sway the delegation. Tomorrow evening they will be holding a press conference here in Tbilisi. It will be the only press conference that they will be giving. Next week they will be issuing a report to the Council of Europe regarding their findings. Okay, well, uh, Paul Slea reporting from Tbilisi. Thanks for bringing us up to date this morning. Appreciate it.